I'm currently standing inside a family travel trailer with some of the best design features I've seen in a travel trailer to date. We are standing in the 2024 Forest River Cherokee Alpha Wolf 26 dbhl i know it's a whole mouthful but this one is loaded with amenities just a lot of smart design starting off with this I mean, a sink what can they do well what they've done is they've basically taken what we've seen in the residential sector and they've added it to an rv and that is they have given you a sink with a shelf and all the accoutrements if you will that come with it so what you get here and one of them is missing i don't know where it went but there is actually another tray that sits in here a nice little vegetable washing tray you have this one that sits down uh with the drain on the bottom you get the drying rack that actually sits on that shelf as well and then the cutting board can sit in there so you have all of this which just makes super smart design you can take them out as you see fit have one half of the sink that's super usable the other half of the sink still run water through love 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 what they've done plus i like the gunmetal color so again you want to talk about smart design some thought actually went into this super happy with the sink high-rise faucet here as well plus you have the little uh, soap dispenser you know whether you want to put hand soap dish soap whatever you want in there i'll probably do dish soap but hand soap would always work too uh, underneath this one i'm not too thrilled about i would have liked a little more space for a trash can but other than that everything else in here i think they absolutely knocked out of the park nothing too crazy here you have three drawers pretty standard if you're going to have a workable kitchen uh, more storage up top there. I do like the backsplash. Not that it's functional, but I just like the way it looks. And it actually does have some uh, like depth to it. It is actually 3D. I know you can never tell in video, um, but it's not just a flat panel. There actually is some dimension, which again, I do enjoy. Uh, open this guy up. You have a 12 volt fridge freezer combo, 10.7 cubic foot on this one. So nice and big. It is Gerard brand. Of course, we have our thermostat here that will run the 15,000 BTU AC as well as our furnace down below. And we have the pantry again, some smart design. I really enjoy having the pantry here. You can see uh, all the shelving in there as well as the fact they didn't bring the shelving all the way to the front. So in the event that you want like a Swiffer, something like that, a Swiffer wet jet, whatever it may be, because, um, you know, you have mainly uh, uncarpeted space, you can have that in here. It is just a magnetic catch there as well. Bathroom is back in the rear corner. There is a second door. Again, um, not that it's super uncommon on this floor plan. It actually is very common on this floor plan. But we want to talk about an RV with smart design, and this is it. You're able to come in, use the bathroom, head right back out without trapes and dirt all the way through the toilet. And they give you a porcelain bowl. And in a price point that this one falls into, that's actually pretty stinking impressive. Then right over to the side here, double over double bunks. Um, this is something that I, whenever it comes to a bunk model, I always prefer the double wide just because if you're, they're going to have an adult guest, they're able to sleep in here. Or if you have kids, you are able to fit two kiddos up there. You will also notice not just a standard electrical outlet, but a USB-A and USB-C because so many of the electronics these days are switching to USB-C. I like that they put it uh, in the top and in the bottom bunks. Ladder is built in so you can climb up into the top bunk. Again, I know this seems standard. You would be surprised how many bunk models do not have a ladder and they just rely on a kiddo to step on the bottom bunk and be able to hop in here that is not super possible another thing you'll notice underneath is that you have additional storage under that bunk so you can actually put a laundry basket under there for the kids dirty clothes i love it when they add that extra storage because where else are you going to put the dirty clothes right you don't want them just laying all over it's gross and it smells bad especially when they're teenagers and then you pull out these massive drawers underneath the u dinettes i mean out of any u dinette i think that cherokee has the largest storage underneath now it's not on any glides or anything but honestly I don't care. I love having the big storage. I would much rather have the bigger storage than have them slide out on some glides. Uh, I think that that's just, again, smart design right there. It's utilizing all the space the way that it should be used. Zebra shades, this is something, again, unique to Cherokee. Uh, love them or hate them, you know, I'm kind of in between on these ones. I don't necessarily love the way they look, but the function, the idea behind it is kind of cool. The roller shades, but you can kind of open them up like so to let a little bit of light in or close them down like that to, you know, obviously block more light out. So the design idea behind them actually is pretty functional. And then 
Good viewing angles to the TV as well. It doesn't matter if you're in the Udynat outside of, you know, obviously this seat, but if you're in the Udynat or the sofa, you can still see the TV here. Uh, fireplace, keep things nice and toasty, and it even comes with a central vac. Uh, the only other thing I can really say that, you know, I wish maybe they would have changed is taking out the carpet. Most manufacturers these days are removing the carpet, so honestly, I would have liked to have seen the carpet go, um, but at least it does have the central vac, so you can back things up, keep it a little bit cleaner. And then as we make our way into the bedroom, here, Aaron, I'll let you head in that way, buddy. I'll meet you on the other side. We'll uh, come on in. You can see the queen bed here in the center. We have a uh, mirrored wardrobe on both sides, storage across the top, electrical outlets there as well. And if you do want a TV, there's a spot to mount it right here. And of course we have doors on both sides because there's not a lot of space to get through and they understood that. So they give you entrance, basically your own entrance to your side of the bed. All right, let's check out some of the features on the outside and again, some of the great design features that extended out here as well. Starting off on something super simple but definitely necessary, that is the power tongue jack. Just makes it so much easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover behind that, rails for the battery, diamond plating to protect the front end, and that three quarter front cap with LED lights here. Now as we come around to the side, a couple things that I wanna point out. One is the fact that we do have slam latch baggage doors with a magnetic catch. And if we take a look inside the pass-through there, it is nice and open. It is a large pass-through, so you can stuff all sorts of stuff in there, a lot of your bigger chairs. On that far side is the battery disconnect. You have a motion sensor light on both sides. And right over here is your 30 amp solar charge controller uh, with the 100 watt panel up top for that juice pack. You also see the leash latch so that if you have uh, you know, a fur baby, a dog that's coming with you, you have a place to hook them up. And one of my favorite parts is the camera package and prep that comes with this one. So what I mean by that is you can see right here, you have side camera prep. You will have another one on the other side, which is fantastic for when you're going down the road, gives you that extra peace of mind and visibility. Even when you're at the campsite, sometimes you wanna be able to see, you can do that, maybe get a wide view to your campsite. But more importantly is when you're going down the road. However, the one I really do love at the campsite is right up there. Take a look at that, right above the door, you have a security camera. Now it is prep currently, but you can have one installed and I love that idea. That way if someone is coming up to your door, especially if you are you know, a seasonal or you're staying somewhere you have never stayed before, you just have that extra peace of mind to be able to see who that is, especially if you're not expecting anyone to come and knock on your RV door. Uh, speaking of the door, the door itself is going to be a tempered glass. There's not a ton of manufacturers currently using this and I don't know why because I absolutely love the door. And you will also see that it has a window that you know you can see really easily from this angle but can't really see it a whole bunch from here which I love. It gives it a much cleaner appearance and you can get, it is prepped for the thin shade so that if you want that additional privacy you can have that as well. Right down underneath are the solid steps, makes it very easy to get into the RV. The aluminum treads on there, the big one, or the first one is bigger. So again, you know, they're being pet friendly. These are so much easier for dogs to be able to get in and out of the RV. And for people, you'll see that they give you the bigger grab handle. So from the very first step all the way in or out, you have control, which is great, especially if you have any kind of knee surgeries, bad knees, anything like that, you will appreciate the bigger grab handle. The outside kitchen, again, done right. Not only do you have a refrigerator, but probably one of my favorite parts, and I know it's something that's a little bit smaller, but an ice maker. You know, I'm a big fan of having a cold drink at night, and I like having ice to do so. So I love that they include that in there. There also is a spray port for water access in the event that you need it. Plus, you can see you have the little washable tray. Now, a lot of manufacturers will plumb a sink in. I honestly prefer this. I know it's probably less expensive for the manufacturer, but the reason I like it is because I can take this to my table. If I want to use this to wash silverware, I can do that. Or again, maybe I don't use it for me at all. Maybe I forgot my dog dish and I can use it for food or water for the dog. This gives you the ability, it gives you the flexibility to do what you want with it. You'll also see the two burner cooktop there. And although I don't use the two burner cooktop a ton, there is still a propane quick connect directly underneath. So if I have a Blackstone I wanna hook up, I can bring my Blackstone, hook it up, and I'm good to go. For entertainment, it doesn't lack there either. You have two outside speakers, you have your TV hookup right here as well. So you can sit out underneath this massive awning with an LED light and be able to watch the TV or listen to music. If we take a look at the back, 
This will be your secondary entrance, but they didn't skimp here. Most manufacturers would just put a standard set of stairs. They again went with these solid steps. They're giving you the same experience no matter what entrance you go into. And this one, of course, will lead directly into that bathroom like we talked about. So you can head right in, do your business, and come right back out without taking dirt, mud, and everything else through the RV. Taking a look at the back, you get a square tubular bumper. Your spare tire is mounted to that. And then right up top, we have a couple prep to finish out the camera prep is the backup camera and you will also see the rear ladder prep so that you can buy the extendable ladder from Lippert and be able to climb up on the fully walkable roof. The roof by the way is a upgraded PVC membrane. Now as we take a look at the off camp side here, a couple things I do want to point out. One is the fact that you have a tankless water heater. So with that, essentially it's going to be on demand hot water. No longer is it going to be the military shower where you have to shut it off in the middle of it. You can actually enjoy a nice long shower here. All of your water hookups will be on this side, including the black tank flush. And you have a light in case you're like me and you have to hook up after work when it starts to get dark, that light will certainly come in handy. Uh, 30 amp power cord plugs in right here, outside shower with hot and cold water access. One of my favorite things is they even give you some additional outside storage, which is very hard to achieve uh, in a lot of travel trailers, but they were able to do it right here underneath that bunk. And this is just much more usable space than having it inside, in my personal opinion. If we also drop down, a couple things I want to point out. If you look at the valve handles, the handles are outside, but the bodies are up inside that fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, help giving you some of that cold weather protection. I'm telling you folks, if you're looking for a great family travel trailer with some real innovation, something with where they just the design elements make it super functional, then this one right here is one you don't wanna miss. Now, if you're interested and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. As always folks, thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and until next time, we'll see you.